Hello my friend, we are going to make subscribe feature again. So when we are not subscribed yet, so if we click this button, uh, we are going to subscribe. If we are already subscribed, if we click this button, we are going to do unsubscribe. So we are going to make these two function in this section. So first we are going to make the feature to subscribe and then we are going to make the feature to unsubscribe. So first we go to our text editor and then we are going to turn on our application by typing npm run dev. First I'm going to log in with the different IDs here. So I can see this is subscribe button if I'm using the same ID as the post owner, I cannot see this subscribe button. So that's why I log in with a different account. Uh, first, we are going to subscribe component in here. So when we click this one, something needs to be triggered. So that's why we need to give this button on click. On click. The name will be unsubscribe I'm going to make this function in here const unsubscribe and I will use the arrow function so in here we're going to get the two case one case is when we are not subscribed and the other case is the when we already subscribed so I'm going to give this if condition so if we are subscribed we do something in here and if we are not subscribed yet so we do something in here so i'm going to type in here when we are already subscribed and in here when we are not subscribed yet uh in here we say first we are going to make this subscribe feature so we are going to start from in here we need to have axios to do the HTTP request so the location will be API arrive and subscribe and then we also need to put the variable I'm going to, to set the variable in here so let subscribe variables I'm going to give two property one is the user2 we already get the user2 in here by using the props so I put it in here I will also get the user from property that comes from here and then I put the subscribe variables in here to send to the backend and then I will do then response now you know what I'm going to do in here response and data and success and we will do something if it was the failed, so we will just say fail to subscribe. So first we are going to make this a router first. So go to subscribe routes file and in here I'm going to just uh, copy this one and then paste it and copy one and paste it in here so in here first we are going to delete unnecessary parts so, so what we need to do here is that we can just save the value we got from the client inside the mongodb because the, we are going to get these two property user to a user from so if we click this subscribe button we need to say to our mongodb i will subscribe this person so you need to remember i subscribe to this person so that's why i save the data of this user to a user from to the mongodb so first i need to make the instance of subscribe and new subscriber and request and body and by using this subscribe instance and then we just do save method and we get the call back if we get the error and then we got the documents and if we got the error return risk and json and success force and error and then if, if it was successful we will return response and status 
200 and JSON and success true and we actually don't need to send any more information to our client because what we needed to do is just to save the data inside a, a subscribe collection so I'm going to save it now I want to try this function goes well by really clicking the subscribe button so first we go to our application in here and before I'm going to click this button first I'm going to let you see the MongoDB right now inside this subscriber collection actually you can see we don't have any documents in here but if I click this button and then we go to MongoDB again and refresh the page you see we have one document so that means this user from member is subscribing to this user to member so we were successful to make this a subscribe function and now it's time to make this unsubscribe function so we go to our text editor again and go to subscriber components and we need to do something in here it will be very similar process that we would take as this one so i will say axios and the post and the location will be API and subscribe louder uh, and unsubscribe and we will put this subscribe variable in here too and then we do then a response and if response and data and success do something else alert fail to unsubscribe so we save it ah uh, uh, sorry about this one uh, after being successful this is subscribe function I didn't do anything in, in here I need to change the state because the after, after clicking this one actually I need to change this state so that's why I needed to do something in here but I skip it mistakenly so I'm going to do something so we have this subscribe number so we need to change this subscribe number I also got the current subscribe number plus one because the one more person subscribing to that person that's why I need to increment that number by one and then I also need to change the status of subscribe so I need to get the set subscribe state into here and then I need to do like this so if subscribe was true it will be false and if it subscribe was false it will be true because I just keep this one like this just to save it and now I really finished it making for this subscribe feature so I needed to keep going for it on subscribe feature again so I first need to go to this route to make this router so unsubscribe and go to subscribe route copy and paste it again copy and paste and in here we need to do different things than this subscriber router so what we need to do is uh, if we come back in our MongoDB so we have this document but if we unsubscribe it we actually need to delete all of this one that's what we need to do inside in here so to delete it first we need to find this document by using user to and user from information so first i'm going to bring the subscriber uh, model and then i say find one and delete so we need to put user2 this will be class body and user2 and we also need to put one more user from this will be request body and user from so what we are going to do is that we need to find just the one document by using this user2 and user from and then we are going to delete that document so after doing it we will do execute the query and we will get the error doc, error callback and document so in here if we got error so we say response status and 400 and json 
and success force and error and if it was successful response status 200 and json and success true and doc so now we just finished making a router for unsubscribe feature so now we go back to our subscribe component in here so as we did something in here after being successful for the subscribe we also need to do something for here so actually it'll be really similar so we copy and paste it the subscribe number has to be minus one and then this one will be the same because if the subscribe is already forced we will change that into true or if that was the true we change that into false. that is what we needed to do so i'm going to save it and then we go to our application so we come in here and i'm going to refresh it so if we see this button oh, originally this has to be the gray button but maybe there was some issue in here uh okay i need to add one more a to this one because a has to be six so i change it and then i come back to our application so now we can see so because we are subscribed so we get this gray color and i'm going to just click this one whether it's gonna work really well or not click it and maybe there is some error <laughs> I, mean, I, I I'm going to check it. Uh, I'm sorry. I found the problem. The problem was this one. I actually need to type the request instead of re response. So that's why it makes the problem. So I am going to save it again, and then I come back in our application. Uh, I'm going to just uh, click this one, so you can see. So click it and click it again. So click and click so I'm going to check my MongoDB subscriber collection and refresh it so uh, we don't have any document inside the subscriber collection so successfully finished making subscribe function and thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section thank you